With energy, grace, and perfect precision, they glide across the ice, each stride, each move worthy of a performance. They've been skating together for more than half their lives, each knowing exactly what the other is going to do. It's a dynamic as unique as the skaters themselves, and one they hope will take them to the next level. That would be a dream come true. It's, I've been wishing that since I am 10 years old, so it would be euphoria for me. The 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia are just over a year away, and this brother-sister ice dance duo from the South Island have their sights set high. It's huge. It's, um, we, it's not a lot of people get the opportunity in a lifetime to go to the Olympics, so being there as an athlete is absolutely amazing. But with competition in Canada about as hard as it gets, Leo and Pilar Maikawa have chosen a different path to their dreams, one they hope will ensure success. We were born in Mexico City and then we moved here to Canada when we were very little and so we have both the citizenship of Mexico and Canada. And we first started skating, we represented Canada and British Columbia and it was amazing, we loved it. But then um, we, have, we had the opportunity and the chance to maybe represent Mexico. It's not that Leo and Pilar are giving up on Canada. They say Canada has been very supportive of them. But right now, skating for Mexico gives them their best chance to get to the Olympics. Yeah, in Mexico, the, in the population of skaters is much smaller than here. So then we can actually focus more on the international events. The 18 and 20 year olds say skating for Canada meant focusing on competing nationally, making it even more difficult to get to international events. To get to a certain level, you need a certain amount of experience. And that experience, that international experience, is so valuable um, and it's tough to get. And to get that international experience and the points they need to qualify for the Olympics, skating for the country they were born in was the obvious choice. The last competition they went against m numerous Olympians from the last Olympics and the Olympics before and just seeing those people skate and being on the same practice ice as them, it just makes them grow. I mean, they came back and they were better skaters than when they left. The door isn't closed on skating again for Canada sometime down the road, but for now, they're chasing a dream. And they're still inspiring Canadian skaters, they're supporting Canadian, this Canadian club, Canadian coaches coach them. Um, yeah, I mean, they're inspiring skaters that are now going to nationals next week. No matter where we go, we will always represent Canada in our hearts and here in Victoria. It's, it's, that's not going to change for us. Leo and Pilar will be heading to Japan for next month's Four Continents competition. And if they do well there, they'll be skating at the Worlds in March. All in an effort to get the points they need to make it to the big dance in 2014. In Saanich, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.